to Burn Me Broadcast. I'm Gidget Tano. And I'm Ali Marciano. We've been busy here at Burn Me for the past few months. Some of our fourth graders spent months on a project that had them showcased at a local film festival. Dylan will share more with you about this opportunity. Dylan? Thank you, Gage. During the fall, a group of fourth graders read the book Because of Lynn Dixie and entered a contest that they made it into a 90 second video. The film was reviewed by author James Kennedy and was recently showcased at a film festival here in Rochester on Sunday, March 17th. The same author visited fourth and fifth graders here at Burnaby to read aloud parts of his novel to talk about where ideas come from. His enthusiasm captured the attention of our students and allowed a few fifth graders to participate in the very imaginative Dome of Doom, taken from his book, The Order of Odd Fish. This is something that anyone can do, so we hope you are inspired to read more books and make movies. Thank you, BPA, for your support to help us host this year's author visit. Back to you, Allie. Yes, our BPA has helped us with so many things this year to keep kids involved and inspired. One week in particular that the BPA helped organize and make happen was Burnaby Reads. We will send you now to Andrew for more on this exciting week. That's right, Allie. Burnaby Reads is always a special week. Our theme this year was Disney inspired with Dress Up Day for each day of the week. On Beach Day, we even had a chance to go over to Cosgrove and see a small park of the Little Mermaid play. The kids had a great time, were read to by various members of our community. Thanks again, BPA, we love it. Another unique opportunity that took place earlier in the year had students learning about how to save money. During the fall, Mrs. Gers runs an enrichment room that focuses on the stock market. It is an online simulation program where they learn about investing, from how to read ticker symbols to diversifying their portfolios. This year, a group of fourth graders came in first place in the Greater New York Elementary Division. If you're looking for new financial advisors, look no further. Gage? Wow, that sounds like a great experience. You're never too young to start learning the value of one dollar. So far, we've had two half days here at Burnaby, where students are able to work with friends from other classes. Jayla will give you some highlights from our day of play. Jayla? Thank you. As Gage mentioned, our last half day was our day of play. The students loved being able to spend time rotating through activities that allowed them to use their creativity, practice their social skills, and just play and have fun. Take a look at the smiles we found throughout the day. It, this is a great example on how learning can happen anywhere at any time. Speaking of learning, every year we take some time to learn about others and their differences. World Down Swimming Day is a very special day here at Burnaby. We love to remind all of our students to be unique, and that is awesome. Our school was able to show our support by wearing mismatched socks. It just so happened that we were extend this message during our last assembly when we reviewed the kindness challenge from earlier in the year. At the end of the assembly, we had a demonstration using glitter to show how many acts of kindness Burnaby was able to do during the month of January. Of January. It was over 6,000. What a great example for all of us. Keep shining, Burnaby. That is amazing, Cal. That is one of the things I love most about Burnaby. So keep those acts of kindness going. Thanks for watching. Until next time.